So I got these new pe Wells. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to today's vlog. I am currently trying to make my way out of a parking structure and I am on my way to go pick up Wells. Today has been quite a long day. I feel like every single Monday I always start vlogging fairly late in the day. I mean it's not like horrifically late but uh, I suppose it's late enough to get my money out. To hold up the line like everyone else is doing right now. This person has like a ton of room in front of them and they're not moving up. So I can't get to this other lane. Like, hello. So I just got outside and it is raining pretty good. It's supposed to actually be like a windstorm tonight. As well as like monsoon quality <laughs> rain. I guess that's supposed to be for the majority of all night, like tonight. I do have to stop at the store on my way home because Mr. Brandon is pretty sick right now. He uh, has a lot going on right now. But maybe I'll let him fill you in on the majority of details about that. But I do have to stop at the store because I'm going to make him soup tonight. The last I heard from him, he was also running a fever. So I'm going to go grab things like saltines and some sports energy drinks to help him hopefully feel a little bit better. Ooh, the camera is sliding. Don't go anywhere. I definitely need to figure out a different hands-free vlogging setup for the car because clearly this like is not working out and it's actually probably dangerous for me to keep trying to keep the camera still. Ooh. Look at this cute little dinosaur. Apatosaurus. I think Wills would love this. <laughs> Dinosaur party. Nine collectible prehistoric creatures. Oh my gosh, I love this. Why are the things that I need always on the top shelf? Ah. So here is the soup that I ended up making for Brandon. It has some chicken, carrots, fennel, a lot of dill as you can see in broth and lemon juice and I can't remember what else I put in there but looks delicious and then we're gonna dunk some of the focaccia bread into it so I got these new pe- wells So Brandon wants to talk crap about my new pajamas. He said that I look like a grandma. They're thermal and they're like winter themed and I love them. I don't think they're grandma at all. What? They're not. They're in style. All the Instagram models are wearing these. They are. They are. You're just jealous. Horrifying Just jealous. Don't worry, I'll get you a matching pair. How'd you know? I'll get you a matching pair. Oh, thank God. Did you enjoy the soup that I made you? That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have one more? One more? Can you get Daddy another one? Give me one more. <clears throat> thank you. Come on. They do make 
juggling balls. I've seen them at Whole Foods. Those are true. Mm -hmm. They're hard to control because they're so light. Yeah. And we got Elva over here. <laughs> I'm chewing <laughs> on a ball. I roly poly. Are you filming? <laughs> kind of crappy talking before I could put you to bed. Don't worry about it. Free put me to bed. Yeah. Night, Wendy. Well, I'll we'll see you, buddy. Good night. Good Love night. you. Love you. Night, Wells. You look like a demon. <laughs> I am. Not feeling a hundred percent today, guys. Not gonna lie to you. Um, just been off all day. Heads pounding. Started getting a fever this afternoon. So, just adds to the things I've been sick with. The past week or so, week and a half, and I just can't wait till the sick period is over. It always comes in like twos or threes where I get hit like two or three things at once and then boom, I'm back to normal, healthy Brandon. I don't know if I actually told you guys, but actually I was diagnosed with the shingles last week. They hurt really bad and they itch and the medication they give for you is very very big it's a it's a large pill I'll show you later and it's just ridiculous but they hurt and they itch and it's no fun but I was talking with my boss who said he actually has had the shingles like three or four times is that um, usually in younger healthier adults it's when our immune systems are like kind of shoddy and that's when we usually get it or people usually get it so he's like you should probably get some blood work done to see what's going on maybe you're deficient in like vitamins or stuff and he was a um, ex, ex bike racer like a cyclist he uh, was in tier two and he did really well and uh, he trained all the time he said that's when he always got as when he was doing his heaviest training because his body was just completely like, completely drained of all vitamins and nutrients and so I have to keep up with that. Uh, what I was just doing was I was cleaning up all of Mr. Wells' toys that he so gladly pushed into the front of the doorway over here. I gotta take the girls out now. Didn't do it like I normally did last night. I wanted to see how they would react if me not taking them out twice at night. It went really well. I think they were very eager, at least Olive was very eager to go to the bathroom this morning. So I think I'm just gonna have to probably keep taking them out two or three times at night just to make sure that they don't pee or poop in the house. Like menthol. Vix vapor rub on myself. Why? To Can't alleviate breathe. some of my breathing issues right now. You tell them what was wrong. Yeah, I told. I also the told them I have the shingles too. And my immune system is compromised momentarily. I told Brandon that he has an old man disease because it's like, for the most part, like old people get shingles, <laughs> not twenty-eight-year-olds. Not like my immune system's compromised by something so we just wanted to give you guys a quick update about everything that happened uh at seattle children's hospital the other day you guys kind of just saw us walking at the around. doctor's <laughs> walking around seattle and at the doctor's office um but really we never sat down and talked about it and kind of like put everything into perspective so we went to seattle children's hospital and uh, the first thing we did, we had a very early morning appointment with the orthopedic surgeon, pediatric orthopedic surgeon, and he told us quite a few things that no other doctor had told us. I think it was because 
he was able to literally put all the pieces together or at least a f bunch of the pieces together and that felt really reassuring it felt like he was very knowledgeable in a lot of different aspects and had had a lot of experience and a lot of different things and so what he noticed is that Wells seems to have not well-developed neck muscles and not well-developed abdominals and he did a few tests with him physical tests basically I was like is that an effect from the scoliosis and he said no it's like the opposite I think that whatever is happening in the neck muscles maybe with some tethers or something or neurologically yeah that that is what is causing his scoliosis so he referred us to the neurologist who were able to get us in within a few hours so we ended up staying in Seattle for like an extra five hours longer than we thought we were going to basically what the neurologist said is I mean when we were waiting that in between time for the neurologist I mean the doctor was right to be concerned yeah he was very right to be concerned but then it had me be like like I'm googling the symptoms and stuff and it, it's all pointing to muscular dystrophy which was frightening or cerebral palsy or something with muscle degeneration and we spoke to the neurologist she was very reassuring and i mean she seemed incredibly experienced and she spent a lot like everyone spent so much time with him so much time going over details and being very thorough i felt like and putting all the pieces together but she thinks it's a syndrome called KTW. KTW, which uh, I can't <laughs> pronounce oh. the, yeah. but we'll I'll put it right here on the screen what it is. Um, but do you want to see what it is? Uh, essentially, it's just an underdevelopment of the muscles due to his port wine stain. Um, which has a direct correlation to the syndrome itself. So there's actually two syndromes that can be caused by port wine stain, specifically the if it's on the head of the, the patient. But this one, the, the one that has to deal with the head of the patient, Wells doesn't have. Um, so the second one is the KTW, which generally affects the muscles and the development and usually in most patients you'll see a larger limb yeah it's usually it's almost never in the yeah. torso or the head but right. with wells it is and usually because you can have port wine stains in a lot of other places usually the port wine stain it says will occur on like an arm most commonly a leg right. and that's where where the issues will be right. this is on his head so he's having neck issues and spinal issues so basically it's a genetic neuromuscular disorder, disease yeah. disorder yeah and um he we're not 100 percent sure if he most definitively has this he has to undergo an mri first and then we have genetic testing that we have to do to confirm these things but the neurologist was pretty convinced that this is what he has um, it's not she it's I genetic. wouldn't say she's convinced it's what he has it's more or less she said if it's anything that's what he has yeah she said we could she also said that we could go in and find absolutely nothing and that it is absolutely nothing it has yeah. everything just to do with his scoliosis but I mean we're keeping our hopes up that it's not neuromuscular because but it's, even if it is, it's not degenerative. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, that's the most positive part is yeah. that they don't think it's degenerative. <sighs> that's the most positive. So sexy. <laughs> that's the most positive part is that they don't think it's degenerative. <laughs> um, it has to do with a specific gene. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's the Pika 3, I think, gene. So, it, it, like Brandon was saying, it really all comes back to the Port Weinstein. So, it's six weeks old. When that Port Weinstein forms, it's 
some sort of like a malformation of cells and what happens to cells at that you're rapidly dividing cells rapidly and so that gets carried forward into that area that's developing those I don't want to say mutated cells because it's not that's not that's not the correct term. He's a mutant. He's a mutant. What are those uh, movies? Ugh. What are those movies? X Men. X Men. Jesus. Maybe Wells. He's X Men. He is an X Men. He's got a super spine. He does. <laughs> what was I even saying? Mutated cells. He has mutated cells. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. So it all stems from that, and that's where the problems basically come from. Is the long, short of it. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Um, I mean, there's not much. I mean, we have some answers, but we don't have the full answers yeah, yet. Yeah, we don't have the full answers compared to what we were told and what we've been told. And I think for me, it comes down to the treatment and the extra attention to detail that we got there from a world-ranked mm -hmm. orthopedic surgeon mm -hmm. like saying, hey, there's an issue here and I'm going to call up there and I'm going to get you in today. At least I'm going to try to get you in today. Mm -hmm. And so when we got there from the doctor, what it seemed like is she saw Wells on her lunch break like yeah, to fit did. him in and because they knew like yeah and we were willing we said like if it's okay if we can't like we will come back for this yeah. but they were able to get us in yeah and it, she was very happy to see him and mm -hmm. see us and she spent a full hour with him like mm -hmm. you don't you don't get that often where doctors spend full hours with their patients yeah. but both of them spent the full orthopedic hours. surgeon spent what hour at least and a half. 30 minutes no he spent an hour and a half no he no he didn't it was like 30 but minutes I, but i mean what we're used to is like the attending doctor like in and out in a few minutes so yeah it was just nice to see that um, the level of care was so high there yeah like you could feel that they had everyone on the team not just the doctors but like the rn and they had a pa and i guess a services coordinator or something i can't remember what cma yeah i mean they all seem to be what cma is a certified medical assistant okay not a services coordinator want some shingles oh that's a vix yeah that is vix wow but anyways, that is the most concise update that we can give. Um, the next steps going forward are to, we're going to contact one other hospital about his casting. This week, Seattle Children should be calling us to set up an MRI. We are doing the MRI separate from the first casting now. So the plan at first was to do the MRI and casting. Boom, boom, like right, like, under general anesthesia just once for the both of them but we will be scheduling the MRI um, and then that is when we're gonna know when we're starting his casting basically after that and uh, it's possible we might go somewhere else for his first casting and then go up to Seattle Children's for all subsequent castings as might just schedule wise is what it might have to be i feel like we're getting the best care at seattle children's yeah i feel really good about it me too i left when he was saying those things about wells's neck and he's like has anyone ever mentioned this to you before and we were like no and he was explaining stuff i was like wow like in my mind i was like i'm so happy we're here i guess you guys don't understand what we're talking about with his neck um can you lay back a little bit Okay. Well, all right, I'll lay back a little bit. So, when we pick up wells... So, normally, you, yeah, as a person, you would do this with your you neck You would just kind of go like this, and yeah. you'd, you'd bend your head forward, and you'd use your abs to roll yourself up. With wells, he can't do that. So, his when we lift him up, his neck struggles Goes right back here. like this. Yeah, like this. It, like, hangs back. Yeah, it struggles right here, okay. but his abs stop him. 
so he doesn't have that abdominal strength to pull forward and in he his should neck. At and, this point in his development. Yeah, and he should. So right now what I'm doing with him is I'm letting him pull himself forward when I pick him up from from bed or at least try to. Like I'm I'm giving him a little help, but eventually I'm not gonna give him any help. And I'm hoping that also if it isn't neurological that it is that we have to start helping him develop those muscles through he's so strong in every other yeah. way though like he's yeah. like he-man around here yeah pushing pushing stuff around and lifting stuff yeah like, throwing stuff it's, yeah. in particular throwing his <laughs> trucks throwing his trucks places and i think it's just important that we're doing what we can and he's uh he's a trooper and we know everybody's supportive of him and we'll keep you guys updated word on all of his happenings for realsies on the real side though i'm going to bed now why peace out girl scouts why are you going to bed old man because I'm, I'm tired you going to bed with your old man disease yeah going to bed with my shangles bt dubs i said it to you guys a little bit earlier but shingles it like hurts really bad and it itches and the only way and like I guess the only thing that I can tell you how you guys realize how you're getting shingles I doubt it's ever the same for everybody but for me I woke up in the middle of the night what was it two Thursdays ago I have no idea. yeah like two Thursdays ago and my back felt like somebody was punching me in the kidneys and I couldn't lay on that side and I couldn't even have pressure on that side and it was like that for like a solid day and then it was just super sore I was like oh that sucks and then I got what I felt was like a pimple but it wasn't a pimple on my back it would and it like and then I got two and I got three and then it started spreading along my side and then went all the way around front towards my groin region and it sucked and it itches and then i got the medication and remember the night before you were like what if this is shingles and i was like haha no but then yeah. i looked it up and i was like i think you got the shingles yeah, yeah that was <laughs> you pretty, should go to a doctor pretty bad because i showed her that it was like spreading around to like the front because it started spreading around like yeah that. when i saw that spreading i was like mm. And she's like, yeah, you really need to go to the doctors. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, yeah. Because at first it looked like poison ivy. Yeah. Almost, kind of. Yeah. It was weird. It was the way you were weird. saying it was hurting. Yeah. It burns. It hurt. It feels it's like somebody's. Nerves, yeah. yeah. It feels like somebody's stabbing you at times. It feels like your skin's on fire. It's it, actually me stabbing you. Yeah, probably. What else was I going to say about the shangles? Shangles. Shangles. They're no fun, folks. Oh, and you can get them like multiple times in your life. Mm -hmm. You can, you can get them multiple times mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. All right guys, thank you for watching today. Thank you for watching the vlog. It's very long today. It is very long. Thank you for listening to us talk. I hope you enjoyed the update. How about we split this in two? What do you mean? Split in two. Just split. do with two Z. No, no, that's not how vlogs, daily vlogs okay. work. All right guys, have a good night. I'm gonna probably go to bed. No well, one cares. No one cares what you think. I mean, come on. Everyone man. cares.